Hi everyone, I'm Chef Ravina and today we're going to learn how to make hummus in two ways. So the first thing we're going to do is do a roasted red pepper hummus. And for that, we're going to take one or two red peppers. So I would take about two if it was this size. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it in foil. So it's just the pepper hole that I've rinsed out. So it's thoroughly been cleaned, but I'm not going to chop into it. I'm not going to remove the stem. I'm just directly going to sort of wrap it in foil to put it to roast. So just make sure it's completely covered from all sides. And now this is going to go in the oven for about 175, between 40 to 45 minutes. You want it to become completely soft and charred on top. So I'll show you what it looks like post the baking. So I've left the peppers to cool completely before I decide to open them. And now I'm going to go ahead and open them. So how do I know if they are ready? This beautiful char that's come and it's completely become soft is a good sign for you to know that the pepper has been roasted. So the first thing you're going to do is just remove the stem and then lightly just tear it open. And at this stage, you're going to go ahead and remove the seeds. Now to my food processor, I've already added the two roasted peppers. Along with this, I'm going to add two and a half cups of already cooked chickpeas. So these have been cooked and a great tip is to store them in the freezer when you want to make hummus. This will make ensure that it's more creamy. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add some smoked paprika. You can replace this with chili powder. It works completely fine. Uh, I'm going to add some pink Himalayan salt. Some minced garlic. some cumin powder, three tablespoons of extra virgin cold pressed olive oil, two tablespoons of aquafaba. So I've shown you how to make this in our previous video and it's such a great liquid to use even in hummus. It's so, so, uh, you know, nutritious. It makes the hummus super creamy and don't miss out on this. two tablespoons of freshly made tahini. Uh, I've shown you how to make this in the previous video, so do have a look. And last but not least, two lemons. Yeah, so I'm going to use the juice of two lemons. And I'm going to go ahead and pulse this entire mixture. Through your blending process, once again, you just scrape down the edges and put it down. If you haven't sort of frozen your chickpeas, which is absolutely fine, you can also choose to add a cube of ice at this stage. This will also make the hummus super duper creamy. Uh, because I've already put frozen um, chickpeas, it's quite creamy as is. But in case you'd like a creamier consistency, do use a cube of ice. So at this stage, I'm going to go ahead and just try my hummus and check for seasoning. I'm quite happy with this seasoning, but you're welcome to add a little bit more paprika powder, chili powder if you want to make it more spicy, some more lemon juice, a little bit more salt, depending on what you're looking for. And you want to make sure that the chickpeas blend it to the point that you can't taste it. Yeah, so you should not be able to have little sort of uh, strings of chickpeas, but a completely blended version of it. So blend till the, to the point that you get to that consistency. It's really, really important for a good hummus. So my hummus is looking great. It's super creamy. It's got this beautiful uh, red color from the roasted red peppers. And I'm going to now put it in a bowl. Uh, this will easily last you at least three to four days in an airtight container in the fridge. Hummus is best eaten fresh, so do try and consume it within a three-day period uh, for maximum nutrient uh, consumption. So you want to make sure that the nutrients stay alive in any dips you make. And the best way to do that is to consume it in a short period of time.
So now we're going to make our second variation of hummus and that's a beetroot hummus. So here I have two beets uh, and what they've just been through is boiling. So they're two beets that have been boiled with skin. And now I'm going to go ahead and foil wrap them to sort of put them in the oven for 20 minutes of roasting. A lot of people directly put beets to roast in the oven, but I find this takes too long. So boiling and then putting it in the oven for roasting sort of shortens your cooking process. Um, so this I recommend to also save electricity, to be honest. Um, so what I'm going to do is wrap it in foil. So after boiling with skin, still going to keep the skin on and now roast at 175 for 20 minutes. Now my beets have come out of the oven and they've cooled significantly. So this is the stage that I'm going to go ahead and open the foil and start removing the skin. So now my beets are completely skinless and this is the point where I'm going to go ahead and add it in the food processor. To this mixture, I'm going to go ahead and add two and a half cups of chickpeas. Pink Himalayan salt. Some minced garlic. Some cumin powder. Aquafaba, so, so important for all my hummus recipes. Olive oil. some freshly made tahini paste and finally the juice of two lemons. So essentially the only difference between this and the roasted red pepper hummus is one obviously the pepper and the beet and two no smoked paprika for this one. Once everything's in I'm gonna go ahead and blend in my food process. So now we're going to go ahead and try this lovely creamy hummus. I'm very very happy with the seasoning. Once again, if you want to change up the seasoning a little bit, you can up the salt, up the lemon uh, or anything else you feel like adding, please feel free. I prefer the beetroot hummus to be sweet, so I don't add any chilli in this. But again, it's completely up to you. But essentially, I've used the same base for both my hummus recipes, except one has roasted red pepper and smoked paprika, and one has roasted beetroot and no paprika. So please give this a try and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you're enjoying the content on my YouTube channel. If you are enjoying the content, please like, share and subscribe. Share with your friends, family, animals, everyone. Just bring everyone to watch it. Thank you.